Okay, the first thing that we need to do when we're in Sibelius is go to play at the top and go to playback devices. You need to select your configuration here and these are the files that we dropped into the playback configurations folder earlier on in the tutorial. As you can see here, I have play for instances selected and you can choose a virtual MIDI cable such as Loop B30. Okay, and as you can see on the right side, everything is already pre-selected for you. The four instances of play and the sound sets on the right side. You can just click close and that's going to be it. Okay, now that we're finally in Sibelius, we can start a new score. Let's go to File and then New. On the left side here, we're going to select, as an example, an orchestral film template that came with the sound set, and it's going to be in brackets on the right side here. And click Next, and at the top left, make sure that under House Style, you have Unchanged highlighted. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to start a score using a template that was not provided with the sound set. We can go to File and New. This time we're going to do an orchestral film template, except it's going to be one that's provided by Sibelius. Let's click here. You can click um, Next after you select the manuscript paper. And you're going to have to remind yourself to make sure that you select the house style this time instead of using Unchanged as in the last time. Okay. We can click Previous now, and this is going to be optional, but you can fool with the woodwinds and brass ensembles if you wish, and you can change the unpitched percussion. For example, we can take out some of the flutes at the, um, at the top here, take out the flutes and use the ensembles. Okay, let's take those out here, and then go to the left here, and make sure that the um, play instruments are selected, and you can go to the bottom under the family and let's see here now we can use the flute ensemble instead of using the individual instruments and you can do the same thing for the other instruments as well for example the oboes let's add it there as you can see it showed up on the top right you can also fool with the unpitched percussion let's take it out on the right side here delete it okay then you can go back to the left side and make sure that the play instruments are still selected go to the family drums and select a snare drum add it to score as you can see click next and you can finish up as usual okay this is going to be working with samples and multis we can go to window at the top here and click mixer once the mixer is open on the left side you can click the little arrow and it's going to expand and then you can click the little speaker icon and it's going to assign channels if channels are not already assigned we have to open up multiple instances of play here and for this particular score, I'm only going to be working with three because I'm only using three sections of the orchestra. That's the first one. We can go to the next one now. Okay, here we go. Here's the next one. And finally, let's do the last one now. Okay, there we go. We've got all of them open, and this is going to be on how to load the multis and load the samples that you require. You can see at the bottom left here that I've got them saved. Let's go into the Platinum Instruments now. And lastly, let's go over to the right here. And as you can see, the folders that we dropped in earlier, where we installed our library, are here. Let's go in. Okay, and this is where you can load a multi that came with the sound set. You can see all of them here. And when you're using a template in Sibelius, you can come here, load it, and it's as easy as that. Okay, and this is going to be on how to load your samples individually. We can use these master files that are included here. Let's go into this directory, and you're going to see that we have a master patch and a master light patch. You're going to be usually working with a master light patch because the master patch is extremely huge. And the master light patch is going to include all of the basic necessary articulations. And if you need an articulation not included in the multis default, you can load it yourself through the play interface. Okay, I'm going to load the master light patch, and you can go back to the player when it's loaded. And on the left side here, you can tick the articulation that you're going to need for your score from in the play software, and that's going to be it.